So this lesson tonight is going to be about what direction our heart tends to go. And so I've created two directions. This direction is toward lies and death, and this direction is toward truth and life. And I'm going to move this out of the way for a second. Which way does my heart naturally tend to go? It, it tends to go that way. So I have a little arrow here on my card that I can stand up. You can make one of these at home. They're not hard. And my heart tends to move toward evil. That's naturally what my heart tends to do. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this jar in front of the heart. In front of what my heart does. And I'm going to see what happens when my life is viewed through what you might think of as the living water. So if my heart is filled with living water, this one is going to require you to shift angles. But if you're sitting where Jared is sitting, what do you see, Jared? It says live and it points that way. Yeah, my card that used to say evil and point that way now says live and it points this way. So I'll show the people who are on the other side of the room. You can see the change in direction that the, you know, just the, the physics, the physics is just that this is a lens now, glass full of water, and lenses tend to make things look upside down or reversed if you hold them up. So there is, there it is, the arrow pointed the other direction. You guys can see it over here if you want. It's just, it's just fun. So here's what the scripture says, uh, John 16, 13, it says the Holy Spirit, when he comes into our lives, will guide us into truth. And so instead of being drawn to lies and death, we can be drawn to truth and life. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. So if the Holy, if the Holy Spirit is pushing us toward truth, He's also pushing us toward life. He's pushing us toward Christ. So we can live by having our direction changed with the Holy Spirit in our lives. So that is the fun of this one. Just that visual image of seeing the reversal of direction that comes with the Holy Spirit at work in our lives. Any questions about that?